The Tony's not the only award show at the top of our minds. In fact, the Grammys are this weekend. So here's a look at the nominees for Best Musical Theater Album. Amelie, the original London cast recording. American Utopia, Jagged Little Pill, Little Shop of Horrors, the new off-Broadway cast album, Soft Power, and The Prince of Egypt. Broadway.com correspondent Charlie Cooper spoke with Broadway composer and lyricist Stephen Schwartz about his nomination for The Prince of Egypt. Thanks, Tamsin. Stephen Schwartz is no stranger to accolades. He's nominated for a Grammy Award for the Prince of Egypt's cast recording. I spoke to the legendary music maker about his amazing career and staying creative. What quarantine been like for you? Let's kick it off with with that, especially after the um, Prince of Egypt opened in London earlier this year, but then of course had to pause. Yeah, I mean, the whole year has been so strange. I mean, obviously it's been strange for everybody, but you know, just from my perspective, we had just opened Prince of Egypt in London and everything was going well. And, you know, we ran a couple of weeks and then suddenly, boom, you know, had to pause with everybody else. We were very lucky. It was very serendipitous that we happened to be able to do the cast album, you know, Prince of Egypt um, before the show opened, which one doesn't normally do. But then very fortuitously, we, you know, we were able to have the cast album. So of course your career has spanned, what, over four decades. You've written so many hits and won such a plethora of awards, um, including of course, four Grammys. And now most recently you have a Grammy nomination for the Prince of Egypt. What does that mean to you? And does it feel different um, each time you're nominated? Like, is, does the experience feel different for you? Well, sure. I mean, you know, because each project is different and one puts so much of oneself into it. Uh, we, you know, we were particularly happy, obviously, about the Grammy na- nomination for the Prince of Egypt album because the show isn't there, because it's unusual for uh, a London cast a- album um, to get that kind of recognition. Um, you know, so that was very gratifying. I'm, I'm happy for the recognition. the Prince of Egypt was DreamWorks' first animated film. What was right. it like to have that privilege of writing the songs for this particular feature? And then more than 20 years later, seeing it come to life on stage, like that's nuts. Did you ever even imagine that that would come out of that? Not at all, no. <laughs> but then to have all these years later, um, the, the stage version happen and find that there are so many fans of the movie around the world who were excited about the stage version, Uh, Obviously that felt great. As the composer, what's that feel like to kind of hear your music come alive with a cast and orchestra and ensemble um, compared to what it sounds like in the film? Well, it was very exciting for the the stage uh, version because we simply couldn't replicate the size of the orchestra that one uses in a film, you know, 90 piece orchestra, you can't do that on stage. And so the question was, well, what are we going to do instead that doesn't just sound like a pale imitation? I asked uh, or August Eriksson um, to orchestrate because he's so good at um, ethnic instruments and doing the kind of research to really um, set a, a score in a in a place and time. And he found all these really cool instruments to write for and orchestrate for. And once I knew a bit about them. You know, I wrote some of the score for those instruments. So it was really fun. 